Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and today I'm just going to be walking you guys through one of my favorite leisure activities that I like to do that keeps me happy, energized, and calm. And this is fluid painting, so please enjoy this video. So here I'm just so showing you guys all the stuff I use. Um, start off with your canvas of course and then I use some pouring medium. I'll also be using water and then the propane you will see later on in the video. Um, also, weirdly enough, I use treadmill belt lubricant. Um, you'll also see that in the video. And just some gloves. Yeah, and then here are the colors I picked for today. Just some blues and greens and yellows. And I'm pouring that into my paint cups. So now I'm just pouring in that pouring medium I was talking about earlier. This helps the paint become more of a water-like consistency and helps it pour more evenly on the canvas. And then here I'm just dropping one drop of the treadmill belt lubricant into each cup. This helps create the cool cells on the painting. And then right here, just some water to also help with that water-like consistency. And then you'll just be mixing up all the paints um, and you want them to be like a, almost like a honey-like, water-like consistency. Not too thin, but also not too thick. And for today's painting, I decided to do a white background, so I just took some of that white and I'm going to take a little tool to just even it out onto the canvas and then my pour will go right over that. You just want to make sure that all that paint is even so that when you put your colors on top of it, they won't dry oddly or anything like that. And now for the fun stuff, I'm just going to be pouring in all of these paints one by one. And um, the key here is that you want to kind of pour them at an angle. That way they do create that layering effect and they're not just getting mixed and splashing into one another. So as you can see, I'm kind of just pouring them onto the side and um, you see that layering effect there that's going to create a beautiful painting. Since I already have the white background, I'm just going to be pouring this cup about a quarter full and then I'll be pouring it on top of the canvas. So this part is really important. I just put that cup on the canvas and then I just have to flip over the canvas and I let it sit there for a few seconds and then yeah, just lift up the cup and you have some pretty designs rolling around and then the key here is to just move around the canvas however you want. It's fun, it's expressive, it's honestly whatever you wanna do. Um, for this one, I wanted to kind of keep it straight in the middle so I could have some white background showing through.
And now that I have the canvas and the paints kind of how I want them to be, I'm just taking a straw and using that to blow out the edges and leave a cool effect on the sides. You don't have to do this, but um, it's fun, so I figured why not. And now my favorite part, playing with fire. I just take a little bit propane, leave it on low heat, and as you can see, some really cool cells started popping up in this one. So I'm very excited with how this came out. Um, make sure you're careful if you're using tools with heat and uh, don't put the heat on for too long because your painting will burn. And this is the final product. I'm super excited about how it came out. It looks absolutely stunning. 